is the Dublin Special Master. Live and direct. Breakfast with Trickstar Radio. Start your Monday morning right. Brand new music from across the underground. Breakfast with Cup COVID. Trickstar Radio. It's the sounds of the future. That's right, people. It is the sounds of the future. Just coming up to around 32 minutes past eight here. My name is Kovu and I'm your breakfast show host as we jump into New Music Mondays, a new section of the show that we are going to be running moving forward, basically looking into the overall sorts of sounds, progression and uh, latest releases within Afrobeats and dancehall music internationally. It's two sounds that I uh, I have a big, big passion for, two sounds that I take a close interest in both on uh, this radio show and, of course, on uh, YouTube and for a few different platforms as well. So I'm very excited to get into today's discussion. We're going to be breaking down all of the uh, latest releases from across the last week and, of course, getting into a couple of uh, more specific conversations as well. First of all, I want to send a massive shout out to everyone who is following the YouTube channel Cubcam TV. We hit 36,000 subscribers over the weekend, and I cannot thank each and every one of you enough. So, moving forward off the back of that, let's get into some of the uh, big releases uh, that landed over the weekend. Of course, we saw a new colors edition from Boge with Simi. Again, one of the smoothest artists out there without a shadow of a doubt was really excited to see this one and more than anything else see him actually stand up and kill it more than anything else Boge for me is one of the smoothest artists out there um, and obviously Jules on production as well it's just a match made in heaven we know that they have a combination that works really really nicely really pushing that kind of Alte sound um, to the next level alongside this as well uh, we did see WizKid link up with Chris Brown um, on a tune that was very interesting indeed. It was a, it's officially a Chris Brown tune, and it's one of the tracks coming on Chris Brown's album, which is reported to have over 30 tracks on it, by the way, which is absolutely crazy. Um, but it's actually a bizarre one because we actually hear more WizKid than Chris Brown on this tune, so I can't help but feel this was a collaboration they both had in the works, and then it was kind of handed to Chris Brown because um, this is something that realistically on the global stage will benefit WizKid more from it being a, a Chris Brown tune that he then features on. But again, these two worked really really well together definitely a tune that i'd recommend um taking a look at alongside this we saw the deluxe edition of the second wave ep land from ruga uh we've done, we've put together reviews for two of the tracks off that girlfriend and a wee wee uh, there's one third track on there that we will get into at some point but again two very cool additions to a kind of franchise of uh, projects that are looking very good for ruga he's definitely looking like an artist that is going to set the world on fire over the next couple of years um and you can also see that from the backdrop in the visualizers which are available on his youtube channel alongside this Yugochi has a new one out there called Hook Up again a really cool tune this one uh, Yuji has a new one called Sweetie Pie which is being somewhat slept on I can't lie to you really cool sounding tune that one Gyaki had a new one that landed this morning that goes by the name Something and then alongside that one of the biggest releases out there at the moment which is of course Ashake with Peace Be Upon You again a very very cool tune this one definitely a tune we're going to be talking about later on in today's discussion um, and this was a track that you guys were absolutely loving over the weekend as well but our highlight drop has to be CK, DeVito, Focalistic, and Abidoza with What Are We. We've already played this one this morning, um, and it was a tune that I really did enjoy. Something so enjoyable about the overall arrangement of this one. There's such a kind of beauty um, in its production value, and then of course, uh, then of course, uh, seeing all of these different kind of international artists come together is something I always enjoy seeing. Um, and I think they all absolutely killed it. I think CK's verses are great. Davido does exactly what is needed, and then Focalistic arrives with some really cool, intricate, more sort of rap-inspired vocals. And then obviously on top of that, you have the magnificent production um, approach of Abid Doza, a huge tune without a shadow of a doubt. Now we did put together a poll over the weekend. Um, basically asking everyone who kind of follows either this show or the channel or any of the platforms that we kind of run uh, the sort of Kovu brand off um, and I did ask which one slapped the most out of CK, DeVito, Focalistic and Abadoza, Watawi Chris Brown, Call Me Every Day featuring Wizkid, Ashake, Peace Be Upon You and Ruga Girlfriend. Now this is a poll that received 1,100 votes the uh, most votes we've ever received on a poll uh, alongside 68 likes and 11 individual comments as well. 48% of you voted for Chris Brown, Call Me me every day featuring Wizkid as their favorite drop of the weekend. 27% went for Ashake, Peace Be Upon You. 14% went for the CK and DeVito collaboration. Um, and alongside that, uh, only 6% went for the Ruga tune, with 5% going for other as well. I'm very interested to see what the other um, sele- selection of releases could be. But there we go. Interesting stuff indeed. Uh, some very interesting dance hall releases as well to discuss before we get into our main discussion topic. Uh, the likes of Raijin King and 630 with Wet Jarmil with Irreplaceable. The video's out for that one now. Vibes Cartel with Rio. 
Gabriel Gallis uh, Javalani with uh, Nudity uh, Jav- Jarlino alongside uh, Jashi with uh, Daily Chesedek with Some in Love Charlie Black with Sunday to Sunday Squash with Stay 2 to my friend and of course Chronic Law with your as well um, some really big releases this week but I want to talk about Amber Piano as a sound. I want to talk about it as a genre and as an overall feeling because there's some interesting things going on. It's not exactly the most super, super new of, uh, of sounds. It's more that the world has essentially been able to discover it over the past couple of years through kind of well-thought-out promotional campaigns, cross-pollination, and more exposure being shown to the artists involved in the sound in South Africa. However, Amber Piano is a sound that is just infectious. It's been going for around uh, already a decade, um, and in that time, it's been able to really, really kind of capitalize on mainstream popularity in South Africa and now on a more international stage we've started to see a number of different international artists jumping onto the sound we've actually had two very notable editions of this happening this week firstly with the CK um, and Davido link up obviously alongside Vocalistic and Abidosa as we mentioned earlier uh, but then also Ashake who arrived with uh, Praise Be Upon You um, now Banks Reactions who is a good friend of mine uh, someone I speak to very very often about these sorts of things he explained this to me and it made so much sense obviously diving into the history of African music is quite important with this one if we look at the sounds of Fuji music. Now, this is a Yoruba based genre for those that aren't aware, dating back to beyond the 19, uh, beyond the 1500s. Like, this is a sound that's been around for over half a millennia at this point, that has slowly developed, has a lot of traditional roots. Um, and it's a very popular sound, especially across the Yoruba speaking um, sort of population. And then on top of that as well, when sped up, there are a lot of elements of sort of modernized Fuji music that tend to sit very closely with the Anna Piano sound. So the crossover is almost inevitable and we're seeing it a lot at the moment. And this is what gives artists like Ashake such a unique take on the sound. I know when I'm DJing, I absolutely love the sort of Anna Piano fusion, um, the way it stays unpredictable, constantly changing direction. It's, it's, it's a joy to DJ and it keeps me on my toes from a DJ perspective. So obviously, Obviously, the big kind of question of this is, um, is Amma Piano slowly but surely overtaking the Afrobeat sound on an international scale? Now, I would say no, but what I would say is there is definitely a conversation to be had and there is an extended conversation to be had, which will grow and grow and grow as Amma Piano becomes more and more popular and as Afrobeats in general becomes a more and more sort of popular sound in at the dances. It already is across the globe, but it's only going to get more and more popular moving forward. So we are likely to see a lot more kind of Amma Piano sort of influence more Fuji sort of stuff kind of slowly leaking into the dance floors which I for one am very very excited to see I can't lie to you I'm loving it at the moment um, and you can also check out all of this at the upcoming event that I'm going to be playing I'm going to be playing Tropical in a couple of weeks time two Fridays time from now uh, on the 1st of July I cannot wait I'm going to be running an Afrobeat and Amma Piano set down in Brighton um, I'm playing I'm playing one of the uh, one of the headline slots as well so it should be very enjoyable do make sure you grab your tickets for that they are available online now and you can see what all of this kind of studying we've been doing here here on the show and on the channel has all been leading up to so there we go moving forward we're going to get into a bit of a switch up from the genres we've been discussing this one brand new from clark it goes by the name you featuring t i cannot get enough of this one so we're going to jump into it right about now keep it locked and don't go anywhere people just coming up to around a 22 9 here on the big bad trick star radio let's get into this one fool if you wanna if you this is Breakfast with Kovu, bringing you their morning flavors on Trickstar Radio. Trickstar Radio.